Welcome to Ibis World Fundamentals. My name is Victor Ho, and I'm a financial analyst here at CFI in the Commercial Banking and Credit Analyst Certification Program. I'm delighted to be your instructor for this course as I have found Ibis World to be a great resource for the work I do, and I have no doubt that you'll find it to be as well. Ibis World is a tool used by commercial bankers and credit analysts globally. In this course, we will introduce the IBIS World platform as an industry analysis tool, navigate and explore IBIS World functionality, walk through how to produce an IBIS World industry report, explain each section of an IBIS World report and how it is used for credit analysis. Finally, we'll look at some supplementary features provided by the CFI IBIS World integration. Before we look at IBIS World, Let's make sure you have access to it. CFI offers a six month free trial for all full immersion students. To get access to IBIS World, you'll need to access your dashboard, which I have open here. Here, I have an example student account. In your dashboard, you'll see an integrations tab on the left. Let's click this and see where it takes us. In this page, you'll see all the integrations that CFI has with its partners. The one we're concerned with is IBIS World. So let's click this. Here, you'll see a brief description of IBIS World and its features, which we'll also be covering in this course. Let's scroll to the bottom where we'll see the instructions for getting access. First, you'll need to click this first link, which will take you to your CFI student email inbox. Over here, you'll be able to access any emails you receive from our integration partners, but more importantly, you'll find your CFI student email here. Let's copy that email and move on to the next step. Opening the link in the second step will take you to IBIS World. Here, you can set up your account by following their instructions. Confirmation emails should appear back in your CFI student email inbox. If you have not already done this, make sure you set up your account before continuing with the rest of this course. IBISWorld is a powerful tool used by commercial bankers and credit analysts all over the world. The database contains hundreds of industry reports that credit analysts use for market research, benchmarking, and industry analysis. So let's jump into the platform and take a look for ourselves. Here I am on the IBIS World main page accessed from ibisworld.com. On the top right, you can see a login button. So let's click that. Now let's put in our login information. And like that, we're on the home page. There are a few things to pay attention to here. First, let me draw your attention to the top right corner. Over here, we have your client relationship manager. If you have any specific questions about IBIS World or are having troubles with your IBIS World account, you can reach out to your client relationship manager using their contact information here. Next, you can see there is a large search bar in the center. This is where you'll begin most of your IBIS World searches. We'll cover that in the next lesson. For now, let's keep looking at what is available in IBIS World. Over here at the top, we can click into this to see what industry research is available to us. As part of the CFI integration, full immersion students will have access to industry reports on US industries. However, if you wanted to request an industry report for another geographic region, IBIS World is happy to provide you one as a one-off request if you know what you're looking for. You can contact your client relationship manager for that. Looking here, you can see U.S. industry reports, U.S. specialized industry reports, U.S. industry eye expert summaries, U.S. specialized industry eye expert summaries, and U.S. business environment profiles. Let's quickly look into each one to see what they're about. 
starting with U.S. industry reports. Here you can see each sector followed by a breakdown of all the industries within each one sorted by NAICS code. As a reminder, NAICS stands for North American Industry Classification Code, and it's a way of organizing industry data as it is collected. This code will be different depending on the country you're in. Also, even if you don't have an industry report available for your country, the U.S. has such a global presence that you will likely find that a lot of the information provided through the report will be of use to you. If you click into one of these, you can see the full industry report. For now, let's go back and look at the rest of the features. Say you wanted to look at a smaller industry instead. Perhaps it's a niche industry or an up-and-coming industry. Then you would look in U.S. Specialized Industry Reports. Here, we have small or newer industries that aren't classified by a NAICS code. IBISWorld also offers industry reports for these, which are amazing when you are evaluating a credit application for a smaller business. Next, we have the U.S. Industry iExpert Summaries. These are like the executive summaries of the industry reports. We'll cover these later in the course. Like with the industry reports, you also have iExpert summaries for specialized industries. Finally, we have the U.S. Business Environment Profile section. This section provides reports that include trends and outlooks on external factors that affect individual industries. For example, we have items like households earning more than $100,000 per year. This would be important if you were evaluating a borrower that produced luxury goods. Now that we've had a chance to look over IBIS World, we hope you're excited to dive into an actual IBIS World industry report.